It is the 24th of the 11th, 2011. And to my American friends, may you have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family. Um, don't worry about the dialogue. Just enjoy your family. Uh, for everybody else, on with life as we know it. I'm going to go ahead and start on the extinction protocol tonight. We've got a 6.1 magnitude offshore earthquake strikes northeast of Tokyo. And uh, that wasn't very far from Fukushima. According to e and &E, there was no reported damage to the plant, uh, but definitely, you know, the ground's shaking still. Uh, apocalyptic mudslides sweep through, through eastern Sicily. Three dead cars and bridges are swept away. And uh, this seems to be an ongoing thing uh, in Italy lately, these, these severe floods with this very, uh, very traumatic video of, of cars and people getting swept down the streets down these narrow alleyways. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Drought exposes lost cemetery in Texas Lake. Um, Bluffington, Texas. In a passage seemingly straight the book for Revelation, one of the largest drought stricken lakes in Texas has exposed its dead. Uh, Johnny C. Parks died two days before his first birthday more than a century ago. His grave slipped from sight along with the rest of the tiny town of Buffington when Lake Buchanan was filled 55 years later. Um, so the reservoirs are getting extremely low to the point where um, some of these towns that have been inundated under 20 and 30 feet of water for decades uh, are finally being re-exposed. So the drought is still ongoing and severe uh, in you know, south east, south central United States. And of course, uh, the economy stuff, uh, the dominoes are falling, uh, Europeans crumbling, uh, like the German bonds flop means contagion now spreading to Berlin, you know, and it's just going on and on about um, how everything's falling apart, and, you know, here we go. And of course, um, the sabers are rattling. Moscow will target U.S. defense missiles in Europe if we continue with the anti-missile uh, screen system we have going on uh, through NATO. And the banks in Lithuania and Latvia collapsed. Um, India, rumblings underground. East India region hit by, by 23 minor tremors a day. And this is where the, the Indian plate's going underneath the Asian plate. Obviously, very active zone. And that is about all they have today. Uh, over to the watchers. Um, they've got a story on nuclear generators that, pa that power NASA's deep space probes. And again, um, they are launching an yet another satellite with plutonium on it um, to power these deep space probes. And the risks that that entail. Uh, climate change threatens the Nile and uh, Limpopo rivers in Africa. Uh, of course, due to you know the dry conditions and the droughts, the ongoing um, climate change. Heavy rains flood Nairobi in Kenya. And where was that other story? Oh, they can't. Contact was established with the Phobos Grunt spacecraft. Uh, apparently, an Australian uh, listening station picked up uh, Phobos transmitting a little bit, but they weren't able to really communicate with it, so they're still not able to change the trajectory uh, on the live Phobos tracking system. Um, it is definitely still decreasing in altitude. Uh, and feel free to check it against my one video where Phobos is gaining altitude video. Uh, where I was stating the actual numbers then and what they are now. So, um, Phobos is still tumbling, but they're, they're starting to get something out of it. And uh, Earth-facing sunspot 1356 harbors energy for M-class solar flares, so, you know, be alert for auroras and whatnot. Now over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, we're going to just do e, e news tonight. We are not alone. Japan's richest man, unlikely ally of nuclear protesters. Ten mega solar plants in the works. He's donating lifelong future earnings to disaster victims. Well, that's cool. Uh, radiation went up inside reactor number three 
after cleaning by the robots uh, may have doubled or tripled, and you remember the last reports that this radiation is coming from the floor. So, uh, Fukushima worker, nothing left we can do. Zero plan or ideas how to manage the leaking reactors. TEPCO begins reducing the number of workers. They're starting to pinch pennies just like BP Oil did uh, with their big Gulf Oil cleanup. Uh, that's all said and done now. Good job, fellas. And uh, here we go, getting the shaft again. These guys are, they're, it's, all about the, it's all about the money. It's not about the people. And, uh, will California close all nuclear plants in 2012? Secretary of State approves a bailout initiative targeting Diablo Canyon and San Onofre. Similar idea worked in 1989. So the Nuclear Reg Regulatory Commission is looking for a federal bailout because the states can't afford to subsidize these plants anymore and they really do need to shut every nuclear plant on the planet down. And uh, let's deal with this before it uh, gets us all. And that is about all I have for you tonight. Uh, I did enjoy going down to uh, Occupy Des Moines today. Uh, it wasn't my wife with me, it was a friend of mine from work. I had her follow me around and shoot the video. Uh, Rod, if you're watching this video, uh, I, you know, I'm, I look forward to your attached videos. Uh, if you need any help at all, please contact me here through YouTube. Uh, that's pretty much the only place you're going to find me. So, good luck guys. Uh, definitely post those videos because uh, we want to see you, uh, the Des Moines local community and what's going on there. So, enjoy what you can everybody.